We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Appreciate you tuning into another one of my creating my new Star Wars room vlog videos. Um, yeah, it's been a, couple, been a couple of weeks since my last entry. Um, I didn't get a chance to do one last week. Um, at least I don't think I did. I may have. I can't remember what it was. No, I don't think I did. I, uh, so last week I managed to get some lighting happening in my Black Series collection. I did put a photo up on Instagram of it. So I just sort of wanted to do a little bit of a video to explain how I went about that. Um, what else has been going on in here? Not a great deal at the moment. Everything's, you know, as I've said in the last couple of videos, everything is pretty much out on display. Um, it's just a case of having to pick up figures all the time, which, you know, that's that's normal. Figures fall over all the time. Um, so just sort of going through shelves and particularly with my vintage collection stuff, it's just, just sort of a three and three quarter inch collection. It's just fine tuning. It's, you know, spacing. Everything's out. Everything's there where I want it to be. Um, it's just once the lighting happening is happening in there too, I'll be able to really, really fine tune my displays um, and create a little bit more space for some sections, um, condense a little bit more with others. Um, yeah, it's just it's just working it all out. But I thought I'd show you what I've done with my Black Series collection. So if we just move over. So I'm not sure whether I did my last video where I showed my sort of Clone Wars shelf that I'd set up. So just going over this again. Um, yeah, I managed to pick this shelving unit, mostly glass, but that was like 50 bucks. Down the bottom, I have my sort of Tartakovsky era Clone Wars, as well as the uh, the Republic Attack Shuttle, which doesn't have its wings. I'm still on the hunt for some wings. And uh, yeah, go through all the sort of the Clone Wars animated figures on the three shelves there from the from the series, and then my ATT and sort of live action, uh, not live action style Clone Wars figures on the top there. Um, but yeah, so here it is, Black Series, majority of them. You know, I do have my sort of game comic shelf over here. And sort of Snoke's throne room jewel on this shelf. I uh, didn't obviously didn't want to light the top because there is no, <laughs> there's nowhere for the lighting to go. Um, I'm still debating whether to get a couple of extra shelves and extending this up, you know, probably probably double what that what that length is just to put a bit of height on it um but then i've also sort of thinking along the to the bottom of that framed image there uh, which is a stephen stephen hayford plastics uh art piece that i got in i think that was orlando i think that's where i got that one um and he, he signed it which was great uh so i managed to get that up a couple of weeks ago um but yeah, I'm thinking just going to there at least, um, being able to put another shelf on top for helmets, in which case I will get some lighting for this for these top shelves here. Um, so I found a kit um, on Amazon, uh, Sith Lord 229 put me onto this brand uh, a few months ago. Um, and he was, he was looking, showing me like the puck lights, which you can get from Ikea, but I found these other ones that are bar lights. Um, now see if I can sort of show you, it's a bit hard to see under here because it is so dark, but you can sort of see the bar light just sort of stuck underneath. Um, so yeah, I've got one on each shelf. Um, I think it lights up enough. Ideally I would have loved to have gone an extra so I could have one on each half. But um, I think what I've got is enough. Um, I've managed to sort of just, all the wires are sort of tucked in behind here, so you can't see them at all. Um, and just down here is a switch. So there we have it. All lit up. I think it's lit up enough. If the shelves were any wider, I would probably uh, go another just to extend out onto the other side. But um, I'm quite content with how it is. I think it looks fine. I'm happy with it. Again, just sort of playing with that idea of the other, the other top shelf. 
So I'm pretty happy with everything. Everything's looking, looking nice and bright. Everything's sort of standing out. A few figures in the back. I'd like to get some sort of tiered shelving for just to sort of prop up some of the figures that are down the back. Such as like some of the troops that are down the back just to raise them up a little bit. Through there. Maybe boost up Jabba just so he's up a little bit higher and can be on show. I'm pretty happy with how the Emperor is sitting there on the throne. Again, some of the figures on the back there. Get them up on some risers just to sort of... You know, I don't want to fully tear all the shelves because the way you sort of look down on them, you can sort of see them nice and clearly anyway. And maybe put the Bounty Hunters there up. Up a bit higher, that'll look cool. Um, yeah, maybe things like the Sand People... There's a couple of stormtroopers down here. That's pretty much fine. Get a couple of those troops up. And yeah, definitely as you get higher, I'd like to get some of these. I've got the Delta Squad there on a riser. And then just sort of the couple of clones that are sort of... And those figures that are floating around the back a little bit. I'd like to get them up on risers as well. So I do need to do a uh, little stop by Dezo at some point soon. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's it's looking good. I reckon I'm going to go the same for for these, but I reckon I'm going to get I reckon I'm going to get a couple of kits um, just because these shelves are a little bit wider, and I think this particularly like this would benefit from having double double lighting, so having two on each shelf. Just because of the just because of the simple the width of it, which I'm probably going to do that. So that will definitely be a, a process. Now, I think the kit was about eighty five bucks for for what I got here. Um, so I'll, I'll find them on Amazon again, and I'll drop a link in the description if you're interested. But um, yeah, I'd also like to you know pop a couple of in these shelves here too, if I can. I'm still looking for a detolf, which I want to put in this gap here, just for my hot toys, my one six scales there, got a couple there, and the side shows up there, that I'd love to get them in a glass cabinet, just to protect them a little bit more, plus I've got Darth Vader from Kenobi coming, the 12 inch version of, of that Vader, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, everything else is looking pretty good. I went through and sorted out some other bits and pieces that were floating around. So organizing, got, got a few bits of junk here on my coffee table, but that's all right. And chairs just sort of pulled out because I was getting to some figures down here, which also would like to adjust, fix up a little bit more. And we'll see how that goes. Particularly, I'd like to uh, get my expanded universe shelf down there up a little bit higher if I can. Yeah, maybe swap it out for the retros and then find a new home for my Bandai figures. Just the Bandai, once the hot toys are in a cabinet, those Bandai figures might go in that shelf there. So I've got some ideas floating around, always, always with the ideas. <laughs> it, it's just, it, it is a cost thing. That's that's the that's the hardest part. Um, and yeah, look at I want to put you those two posters, those two they're Red Five designs, those ones. So you got the Collector ninety six poster and the Book of Boba Fett. I want to put them on that wall. Um, so yeah, I spoke about doing an extra lot of sort of shelving across there that would match with this, um, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't need to do that. Um, with the uh, addition of this. That was solely for Clone Wars, that idea. So I get to have this nice sort of open area over here, open window, my desk. I'd like to get another desk. That's probably it. <laughs> Just something a little bit bigger, something a little bit cleaner. A little bit more room for activities, you know what I mean? Yeah, just thought I'd share a little bit of an update this week. It's been good. I've got some figures coming in tomorrow. Um, 
for those that didn't see it, I was on Seriously Star Wars. Uh, Chris held, hosted me and uh, Patrick from Toy Photography on YouTube um, for a trivia contest. That was a lot of fun. He does these, uh, does these quite frequently. Um, so I was very honored and excited to be a part of that. It was really a lot of fun. So again, I'll try and leave a link to that down below so you can go back and check that out. That was a lot of fun. Um, what else have I got on this week? Yeah, like I said, a couple of figure reviews. It's actually my birthday on Thursday, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that. I do wanna do a live stream um, in the next few days as well, so I'm gonna try and try and hook something up for maybe Saturday night um, after Supernova. So Supernova Pop Culture Expo is on Saturday, uh, which for those that don't know, outside of Australia, it is a you know, a bit of a Comic Con convention thing going on. It's pretty good. I do have um, an autograph token and a photo token for Tim Morrison, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't wait to can't wait to meet him. Um, so that that's going to be that's really exciting for Saturday. And um, yeah, I look forward to hopefully going and shooting some video while I'm there, um, looking around at some stalls and doing bits and pieces like that. So I'll definitely uh, keep everyone posted and hopefully put together a bit of a bit of a supernova video. I reckon that'd be great fun. It's uh, something I haven't done before, um, but I like to. So uh, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic week. See you all very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.